Hello Hornets, today we're going to be talking about finding when a series converges. And I'd like to start off where we, um, where we began. So if you recall, I showed you an example a while back that said uh, how to find when a series like 3x to the n converges. And we had to use a different technique. And that was because we did not have the ratio test. And if you recall, I went through how we had to break this up so that it was n minus 1, so that we could work with our geometric series after changing our indice to a 0. This allowed to get us our first term, our, rate, our uh, rate of change. And you'll notice that as we were constructing it using our formula from our precalculus, we ended up getting 3x times 1 over 1 minus 3 to the x. Because of that, our radius was 3x. We were then able to factor out the 3. We then had 1 third. We broke down our absolute value into negative 1 third and 1 third. And this gave us our interval of convergence because when we check and plug that value negative 1 third in, we get negative 1 to the nth, which is a diverging series. When we plug in the 1 third, we end up getting 1 to the, to the nth, which is also a diverging series. As a result, we end up having open intervals and not uh, brackets. Well, now that we have this ratio test, we can start working with finding the uh, radius of convergence using our ratio test. Notice the limit as n approaches infinity of our u of n sub 1, uh, n plus 1 over u of n. We saw an example of this. The radius of convergence is what we have right on this side. Yet if we're trying to find the interval of convergence, we use the ratio test. We bring it on down until we end up with our inequality. And then we have to check the two endpoints. Just like the negative one-third and the one-third that I was looking at a moment ago, I do have to watch out so that I can make sure that I get it. So let's take a look at a problem and see how this is going to work so that we know what to do. So again, we're using the ratio test to do this. All right, so here's my series. Notice that this series has an x. It is important that you recognize that we can only find a radius and interval of convergence when we are dealing with what is called a power series. A power series is any polynomial that is constructed where we have an x to the nth power. So it's going to slowly grow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. This is a power series. So what we're going to do is we are going to find our a sub n plus 1, and this is going to be 3x minus 2 to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. We know our a sub n is 3x minus 2 to the n over n, and we're going to set up the limit as n approaches infinity for the absolute value of our a sub n plus 1, and I'm going to break it to 3n minus 2 times 3x minus 2 to the n, and I have n plus 1. Since we're dividing, I'm going to take the reciprocal on the opposite side, and I'm going to start reducing. Notice that these two pieces cancel. And I'm now left with the limit as n approaches infinity for n over n plus 1 times the absolute value of 3x minus 2. Please make sure you keep that absolute value around both pieces. Since we know that the limit of this piece is 1, we now go to our ratio with the inequality, or the not ratio, but our expression with the inequality. We're now looking at the radius of convergence is right here. 
provided I have a single X. Oh my, I don't. I have to factor that X out in order to find the radius of convergence. So if I factor out the X, the three, I'm lo looking at the X minus two thirds is less than one. That means that X minus two thirds is less than one third. This is now the radius of convergence. And our goal is to now find the interval of convergence by dropping the absolute value, putting in X minus two thirds, one third, negative one third, and add two thirds to all sides. I now get one third is less than X is less than one whole. In order to find the interval of convergence, we now have to check to see if we have a bracket here or a bracket here. This requires us to put one third into the original function and find out if it is a divergent series or not. Then we're going to take the positive one and we're going to put it in and we're going to simplify. And we're going to find out if we have a convergent or divergent series. So let's go ahead and do that to find our interval. The first piece I want to do is check when I plug in one third. That means that I have three times one third minus two to the nth over n for n starting at zero and going to infinity. Actually, I believe this should be one. Um, let's do a one here and make sure I'm more consistent with what I'm doing. Notice that the zero would not work down here. That's why I changed my indices. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. If I know that this is this piece, then three to times one third is one, and one minus two is negative one to the nth. And I'm now looking at an alternating opie. Once again, make sure it starts at uh, one instead of zero, and this is convergent. Notice it is a conditional convergence because we have uh, the power of one in the denominator. And now I'm going to check the next piece. That had a one. So we have three times one minus two to the nth over n. But now I have three minus two, which leaves me with one to the nth power over n. And that's the same as one over n. One over n is a harmonic series and a harmonic series is divergent by its very nature. So, this series that had one-third less than x is less than one, because our one-third gave us a convergence, we have or an or equal to, and this is now the interval of convergence. Let's take a look at one more, please. I want to look at the alternating series. Find the radius and interval of convergence. First of all, notice that it is a power of x. This is a power series. And we're going to just quickly check. Um, I have a 1 plus uh, k x. This is a polynomial. This is an exponential, and it has to converge. Now, I do know it converges now by the alternating series test, but my goal was to do uh, find the interval of convergence, not just to determine whether it converges. So we're going to take a look, and we're going to find our a sub n plus 1. This is going to give me x plus 1 times x plus 1 to the nth. Notice that's n plus 1 right here divided by 2 times 2 to the n, and that's 2 to the n plus 1. We then take the limit. As n is approaching infinity, for the absolute value of x plus 1 times x plus 1 to the n over 2 times 2 to the n times the reciprocal of the absolute value of this piece. That means that 2 to the n goes to the top, x plus 1 to the n goes to the bottom. And because we're dealing with the absolute value, 
the negative one to the n's drops away. We then reduce as much as we can. You'll notice I'm now left with the limit as n approaches infinity for the absolute value of x plus 1 over 2. There are no n values for us to find our limit with by substitution. You know, it's just we're looking at x plus 1 over 2 is less than 1. Now I'm going to need to make this a 1x, and it's currently 1 half x plus 1 half, so I'm going to factor out that 1 half. Now it's x plus 1. We have a 1x. All I have to do is multiply both sides to find the radius of convergence. The radius of convergence is now 2. So if I want to find when this function is going to converge or the series is going to converge for the power series I'm working with, I'm going to drop the absolute value, write negative 2 on the left, and have x plus 1. We're going to subtract 1 from each side. I get negative 3 is less than x is less than 1. We're now going to have to check negative 3 and 1 into the original function. If I put a negative 3 right here, you'll notice I'm getting negative 2. Let me do this on another piece of paper. Here we go. I have negative 1 to the nth, and I'm looking at plugging in that negative 3. That's giving me negative 2 to the nth over 2 to the nth. Now we have to be careful because this is really negative 1 to the nth times negative 1 to the nth times 2 to the nth over 2 to the nth. And you'll notice these reduce this right here is negative 1 squared to the nth, and that's 1 to the nth. Now, unfortunately, that diverges. So we now know that we do not have a bracket right here at the negative 3. We're going to check 1 now. So when I plug in the 1, I now end up with negative 1 to the nth, and I have uh, 2 to the nth over 2 to the nth. They cancel out negative 1 to the nth as a series is going to diverge as it never stops. It oscillates positive 1 plus negative 1 plus positive 1 plus negative 1. And you can clearly see that all we do is oscillate between 1 and 0. As a result, both of these are going to diverge, which means that my interval of convergence is with the parentheses or negative 3 to 1 or using the inequality. Now we don't know exactly which one it's going to be, whether it's going to be using the inequality or the parentheses, so we just have to be prepared for both. That is using uh, the ratio test to find both the radius and interval of convergence for a series that has x in it. Thank you very much, Hornets. Please be safe, take care, and have an excellent day. Bye-bye now.